Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and uh, this lesson is on place value. So what we're going to do is blend uh, some regrouping uh, with some place value with um, uh, the base 10 blocks. And we'll show you how that blends in with uh, some place value. Okay, so let's use this example. Kayla has 144 Skittles, okay, uh, that she wants to divide equally among herself and five friends. Okay, so she wants to divide them with herself and five friends. So that's going to be six people because she counts as one. Okay, so how many Skittles does each person get? All right. So this is a division problem. We're going to take 144 and divide it by 6 right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, there's 144. This is 100 right here. 110, 120, 130, 140. There's my 144 right there. Okay, and we need to recognize that uh, uh, use place value to place the first digit and then look at the hundreds digit in 144, which is 1. This 100, which is this block right here, this 100 can't be shared with six groups. I can't, you know, unless I split this up into, if I regrouped them into uh, uh, tens. So I'm going to regroup all of these into tens because uh, there's not six of these to split up into six blocks. There's only one of them. So here they are uh, regrouped as um, tens right there, okay? So how many tens do we see now? Here's ten. Plus, here's four more. There's 14 tens right there, okay? So now there's going to be, uh, and I'm just going to use these dashes right here just to save some space right here. Okay, so there's going to be 14 tens to share among the six groups. And the first digit of the quotient will be then, since we're not dividing it into the hundreds, the first digit's going to be in the ten spots above here because I can't divide into the one. I had to break that uh, 100 down into uh, ten tens right here. So I'm going to be dividing into the ten spot. So that's what this is. The first digit in the quotient is going to be in the tens place right there. All right. And so what I'm going to do is start sliding them down. So, um, so how many of these can I bring down into each circle? I can bring uh, one down here. Whoops, that's not going to let me do that. I have to do it on this one right here. So I can bring uh, uh, two of them down into each circle right there. And when I do that right there, I think this one's going to let me do it here. Yeah, no, that one's not going to let me do it either. The circle's hiding in front, so I'll have to do something else with my program right here. But if I slid, you know, that one down and then to put another one down and another one down, so there three would go here, three would go here, and then I can put another three here and another three here, and that would be enough right there, and I'd have two left over right there. Okay, so uh, we're going to divide, uh, okay, remember six didn't go into that. That represented my 100, so I broke that 100 down as... Uh, as the ten uh, tens plus the four tens, so there was fourteen tens in there. All right, so um, so how many of those tens can I put into each circle? I can put two tens into each circle, so six went into fourteen two times. So fourteen uh, tens divided by six, I can do that by two times. Okay, then we're going to multiply six times two, so that's going to be twelve. Okay, so twelve is going to go right there, and then we're going to subtract. 14 tens minus 12 tens, and that's going to get me two tens left over. And there they are, my two tens left over. Okay, we had 14 tens up there, and we put away 12 of them right here. There's two, there's 12 tens right there, so there's these two left over right there, and that's what's going to go right there. Okay, so um, uh, so there's my 12 tens right there, and these circles right there, and the two left over is that dude up there. Okay, and uh, and we can't share these last two tens in these six groups right there. So do you remember what we have to do with these tens? Yeah, you got it. We got to break this down as ten ones and this guy down as ten ones also. So here they are broken down. So there's twenty uh, four ones now. Okay, so the step three now what we're going to do is now divide these twenty four ones into the circles right here. Okay, so divide the ones and regroup the two tens as twenty ones. So now there's going to be uh, there's twenty four of these ones up here. Okay, so when I put those twenty four ones up there, uh, uh, so I, I subtracted right there and I slid this four down right here. So this is how we're doing place value, and I'm showing it with the regrouping method. So I did fourteen tens minus twelve tens gave me two tens left over, and then I couldn't um, uh, I had to break down those other two tens. So it brought me 24 ones right there. So there's my 24 ones right there. Okay. All right. So now we're going to divide. Uh, we're going to divide uh, 24 um, divided by six. Okay. So 24 divided by six 
is going to get me uh, 4, okay? Sorry, 24 divided by this 6 right here. This 24 divided by 6 is going to be this 4 right here. This 4 represents these little 4 1s right here, okay? So they're all the 4 1s. See how that 4 is in the 1 spot right there? Okay, so now we're going to multiply this 6 uh, times this 4 right here, okay? So 6 times 4 is going to get me 24. So this 6 times the 4 1s right here is going to get me 24 1s right there, okay? Because there's 6 4s right here, okay? It gets me 24 all together, so I subtract them and I get 0, okay? So when I subtract, then my answer is right up here because there's there's zero right there when I because when I, I can't do any more dividing when I end up with zero so the answer is is 24 so let's answer this in the context of the problem so each person is going to get 24 skittles yum yum huh all right so let's try this again let's do, let's get a little more comfortable with this and we're going to do it just with the place value not with the circles or anything okay so so we're going to write 20 uh, 2 divides into 287 right here okay this 287 is our, called our dividend and this is called our divisor right here so so we're going to divide 2 into 287 okay all right so 2 now look at the 100 spot does 2 go into the 100 spots yes it does 2 times, uh, 2 goes in the 100 spots, 1. So divide 200 divided by 2. Okay, so divide this 200 divided by 2, and it gets me this 1 right here. All right, and then what I do is I multiply. I multiply this 2 times 1, and that's going to get me this 2. And then I subtract. Okay, so 2 minus 2 is 0. All right, and then uh, now I slide this 8 down. This 8 is going to come straight down right here. Okay, and then we're going to do it again. Uh, uh, 2 goes into 8. How many times does 2 go into uh, 8? 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, so this 4 right here, this 2 goes into this number 4 times. That's where the 4 comes. Then I multiply this blue 4 times this blue 2 right there, and that goes underneath that. Okay, then we subtract. Okay, and then we get 0 tens left over. But I still got 7 ones I got involved, so those are going to slide down next. So there's my seven ones right there. And then we ask again. Uh, two goes into seven. So seven divided by two, um, seven of those ones right there divided by two is going to be three. I can get two groups of um, uh, three in there. Okay, so now I'm going to multiply two times three. Two times three is six. And then subtract, and I get one. And then I don't have anything else left up here to slide down anymore. So that's going to be my remainder right there. So this guy's going to be uh, written as um, uh, can't be equally shared in, amongst the two more groups right there. So that guy's going to be written as 143 remainder 1. All right, I hope that helps you guys. Take care.